Completing your bicycle is one of the ultimate goals in Dawn of Zombies survival, but in order to complete it, you need to master the warehouse, which is the most difficult challenge in the game. I was able to complete my bicycle in less than a week, so today Royal Ark has sponsored me to show you my approach to the warehouse. Your base starts out with a bicycle building station, and filling these four slots are really easy. If you are having trouble getting enough rebar or twine, make sure to check out my tips and tricks video for this game. I also mentioned in that video that I recommend moving your bike station over to some level 1 floors so that you can utilize these level 2 floors for upgrading your workbenches. Filling these other 4 slots are not nearly as easy, mainly because the best place to find these items are in the warehouse. And more importantly, the warehouse is the only place to find bolts, and it will only give you one or two each time, which makes bolts by far the most difficult slot to fill. The best time to do the warehouse in my opinion is before you hit level 32, because you can do pretty much all of it with just sharpened rebar, some basic clothes, and washed bandages. You will need one weapon that has over a thousand attack to kill the Carnifex, but those aren't that hard to find even at a low level. If you are over level 32, then you should have a lot of extra crowbars from trading with the trader, so use those on normal enemies, and then make sure to bring one weapon that has over 1200 attack to fight the Carnifex. If you are a skilled player, you can also use crossbows against the Carnifex, but it takes a little bit of extra time. If you are over level 52, you will need almost all of your weapons to have around 1200 attack, and your weapon for the Carnifex will need to have around 1500. You also want to have around 1000 armor and a stack of bandages or good food. And then if you're over level 72, I'm not there yet, but I'm sure it's a similar pattern. When fighting the Carnifex, make sure to always bring the battle over to the first room. That way if for some reason you die, it will be easy to grab your stuff and fight them again, or get out of there if you've run out of resources. The most important thing when fighting the Carnifex is to have a good weapon set aside for him. If you have a good weapon, but you don't have some of the other things I mentioned, then you can use a blood groove which will heal 35% of the damage that you do with your weapon. That can end up being a crazy amount of healing which can turn a seemingly impossible battle into one that's not that difficult. But even if you're using a blood groove, do not let him hit you with his skill. If you do, there is a good chance that you will not be able to recover. After you kill the Carnifex, he will drop some amazing loot, so you do want to kill him, but after killing him four times, he starts dropping rags and water. So when you're doing the warehouse, your goal is to race to finish everything before you have fought your fourth Carnifex. This means clearing everything in this wing, and then everything through this path and both of these forks. Royal Ark is planning to expand the warehouse, but I'm pretty sure the concept of racing to finish will still be a thing. When you kill your first few normal enemies, one of them will drop a key. You only get one of these each time you do the warehouse, so unless you save it, you will only be able to open one of these two cells. And then if you save it, keep in mind that you can only store one key in your digital assistant at a time, so make sure to use the key you already had before you try to pick up another one. Occasionally you will run into the Stomper. He looks extremely scary and has a lot of hit points, but he does not heal, which makes him a lot easier than a car effects. I've never gotten hit by his skill, but I have a feeling it does a lot of damage, so I wouldn't get hit by it if I were you. After you kill him, make sure to loot his box because it has really good loot. Even if you don't kill the stomper, there is far more loot in the warehouse than you can take in one load, so in order to get really fast at doing the warehouse, I stopped looting any boxes until I had cleared every room. My goal is to clear every room by the time I kill the second Carnifex. After that, I loot all of the boxes and stack as many items as I can, and and then I go put stuff in the lockers upstairs. This locker never resets, so I do like to keep a few trade items in there, but other than that, I try to keep it as empty as possible so that I can load a bunch of items and then go back into the warehouse to get another load. Usually as I am finishing getting all the loot out of the warehouse, the third Carnifex appears, and unless something went wrong, I usually have to wait for the fourth Carnifex to spawn, and then once I kill it, I'm done with the warehouse. The warehouse resets every eight hours, and you get one or two bolts each time you do it. So it is technically possible to finish your bike in only four days, but you would have to be kind of crazy and get pretty lucky. One week is a lot easier, especially if you do most of your warehouse runs before you hit level 32. After you finish your bike, then you will still need lots of resources to unlock the modification slots on it. This slot gives you extra storage, this slot gives you a really powerful buff, these two slots give you active skills, and these two slots don't exist yet in the game. Once you have upgraded those slots, the best place to get those modifications modifications 
is the engineer, especially if you want high level modifications. These modifications use durability just like everything else, so you want to try to collect as many high level modifications as you can. And then lastly, traveling with your bike requires oil, which you can get pretty much anywhere in the game, especially the trader at the warehouse. You can also save a lot of oil by never using your bike to travel back to your house because your bike has special conflagration properties, which makes it automatically show back up at your base when you leave it somewhere. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. If you think of anything that I missed, please leave it in a comment below so that I can improve and others can see it. Also, this video was sponsored by Royal Arc. If you liked it, please thank the devs for hiring me to do it because sponsors are the main way this channel makes money. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.